Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. In the last episode, we completed a UFO takeover mission in which I managed to capture three different live aliens. And now it's time to interrogate them. Let's change our research project. That's priority right now, but I want to do these interrogations. Let's see what they do. Oh, he is not like that. All right. Basic armor technology. I'm probably going to get uh, jetpacks soon because of that. And interrogate Thin Man. Let's see what we can do with this. I've been expecting you, Mr. Bond. <laughs> the dramatic turn. Oh, that is just creepy. He didn't do anything but just stare. UFO technology, research credit earned. So now that we've got those two guys interrogated, I kind of want to finish the beam weapons. How long is this one going to take? Nine days. I'm going to give it the three days to complete the beam weapons. So better guns first. That's my priority. I'm also going to make a couple of Phoenix cannons for our planes. Just so we have a better chance of taking down UFOs. The last one was pretty close to being taken down. So I'm going to go ahead and make, I'd say, two of those. Lastly, before the next mission, I want to hire a couple more soldiers. I only have 20 credits, so I'll hire two more soldiers. And I think we're ready for the next mission. Scan for activity. We have three more days before exciting things happen, so let's... Last three days, come on. Three days? This is our new satellite uplink. There we go, there's our new uplink. We can send up our satellite now though, so... Where do we want to focus on? We probably want to focus somewhere over here. Okay, I've decided that I'm going to send my satellite to India, just in a, an attempt to lower the panic. I'll cover one quarter of the countries there and I'll get two engineers per month. Transfer one of these From guys. Here, you can arrange to have our interceptors transferred to bases to throughout Asia. the world. By stationing our fleet on various continents, we'll have a much better chance of intercepting new UFO contacts in those areas. Right. When selecting a specific jet within the hangar, you can choose to modify its current weapon loadout to best serve our needs. Alright, so I took down both of these guys. They're being armed with Phoenix cannons right now, so they'll be unavailable for the next day. And it'll take three days for my next ship to get to Asia. One more day for beam weapons and new soldiers? Let's do it. Beam weapons research complete. Assign new research. We need to get our priority piece done. Laser pistol. Laser pistol relies on our latest advancements to provide a more powerful sidearm that does not require reloading in the field. Yes. Laser assault rifle relies on our latest in optics technology to offer a substantial increase in output over the conventional X9 rifle. Okay. Outsider shard. Begin project. That'll take nine days. Time to scan for our next mission. So far, so good. I'm happy about this. Oh boy. Yes, we get more story. I'm liking the plot so far. What is it telling us? There you are. Tactical. Do we have an eagle over these coordinates? Recon satellite Delta 2 is just coming into line of sight now, sir. Coming on screen. Nothing. No. Cloaking? That's impossible. I know it's there. Switch to thermal. Hello. Hey. Give me subsurface. Gotcha. How do they do that? It's a complex. Think of what we might find once we get inside that facility. Imagine what they might be doing down there. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, we found it. Now how do we get inside? I thought you'd never ask. Oh boy. It's a key. Oh, I bet it's a key. This should be good. Uh, sign your research. research. ...involved in creating these crystals. An organic machine capable of complex communications. 
We could spend years studying this technology. Interesting. The skeleton key. Okay, so I need to research the key in order to do it. Uh, first off, though, I need carapace armor. This is going to be the better armor for me. I can only Ten days research. The might be doing in an underground facility. Skeleton key, priority cost 22. Okay, so I sold off a couple alien corpses just to get a skeleton key. Let's manufacture one of those. I don't want to assault the alien base quite yet. I got one more day for my council report. We'll see if we can get any money. Incoming transmission. Here we go. <laughs> I'm scared. They're not going to be happy. Commander, unfortunately, one of our oh, members no. has chosen to discontinue their involvement in the XCOM project. We knew it was going to happen. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. I was worried that we hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. They will, don't worry. We got a B. I was worried that this was going to be worse off, but looking at these, I just need to protect these four a little better. Remember, we will be watching. Okay, eight more days for our armor. I'd really like to get this armor before I assault the base. Oh, they want corpses? Yeah, take corpses, whatever. Nope. Oh, good, 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 good. We have our armor. Assign your research. Our carapace armor was designed to offer substantially better protection against the alien plasma weaponry through the use of their alloys. Tests indicate a substantial survivability increase relative to conventional body armor. Perfect. All right. Next, we need... Let's go with the nav computer. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Engineering. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Build some carapace armor. Six of them? Yeah, let's do six. Uh, we can build laser rifles. Need two of those. Yeah. Three. Give me three. Let's see what this thing does. Oh, I'd be I'd be scared to be the first person. First person to ever shoot that thing. What if it blew up? Great. Laser pistol. Let's manufacture a couple of those as well. All right. Commander, at this point, a foundry would certainly help us further hone the effectiveness of these new weapons and equipment. True. I'd recommend we get started on construction sooner rather than later. What do we need for a foundry? $75 required to build. Do I have enough power? I have three power. That's just enough for the foundry. I just need $75. <laughs> All right, I'll see what I can do. Okay, I managed to sell off a couple things so that we can build our foundry. Let's do it. And we'll scan for activity. Abductions. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Uh, let's see, Hong Kong, China, Russia, very difficult, very difficult, and just difficult. Looks like tensions are the highest in China right now, so that's where we're going to go. Alright, I don't think I'm going to see anything too, too new here. Edit units. This guy is definitely going to have some this carapace armor. This was developed using what we've learned from the alloys employed in the alien ship. It should prove to be both lighter and stronger than anything we've used in the past. Oh, yeah. Nah, you're, you're going to stick with the shotgun for now, buddy. Our support. You're going to have armor, too. You get a laser rifle. I 
Actually, you can have a laser pistol. I've got enough of those. Our heavy gets armor. And an arc thrower, just in case. A second support. I don't think we need a second support right now. If I have a sniper, I'd like to have my sniper. Xeno buddy, come on in. Edit unit, you can have that. And a laser pistol. And a nanofiber vest. Oh, this is gonna be a lot better than last time. Last but not least, you're, you're actually gonna have a laser rifle. Let's see what you can do with that thing. And a laser pistol, as well as an arc thrower. You're, you're, you're gonna be real badass here. Okay, looks like everyone's geared up. Let's send them out. Hey guys, so I realized this part of the video took quite a while. What I'm going to do is take this episode and split it into two parts. If you like the video, please feel free to give it a like. If you have any comments on how I can improve my content, editing-wise, maybe content-wise itself, any suggestions for games that you'd like to see me play, I'd like to hear what you guys think. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next part. Bye for now!